Hi there, welcome back to another studio vlog. First of all, Happy New Year! It's 2022 and I hope you're having a wonderful start to the new year so far. If you're new here, my name is May and I run a small stationery brand called May Paper Co that specializes in planner refills and other planner accessories. So today is the 7th of January, which means that it's already a week into 2022. Can you believe that? I've got a lot of exciting things planned for this year, including the launch of our leather planners, which have been in the works for years. Um, so today I'll need to go through some quality control and also figure out how to pack them and probably make some TikToks, which I've greatly neglected due to uh, not having enough time. Just gone ahead and unpacked all the planners. So this is what we have so far. There's also another box that is yet to be unpacked, but they basically came like this with some um, cardboard. I've kept the cardboard in between because I don't want them uh, imprinting on each other and uh, causing, you know, the quilting to become deflated. So they basically came like this with a foam insert and the rings came with a cardboard just to protect the rings from indenting on the leather inside. But this is what they look like so far. We've got the A5 um, rings version and we also have the half letter disbound or it's also perfect for A5 notebooks as well. So I need to go ahead and quality control each and every one of them, make sure that you know the rings are not gapped etc so because this is a whole new product that i haven't done before i'm going to have to figure out how to ship them safely so that they don't get damaged in transit and they don't get squished or anything so just to give you guys a closer look at the planner it's a vertical quilting on the first three this is the um, right hand side and then we also have a diagonal quilting all across the back there this one in particular is the ringed version but as I mentioned before there is also the half letter disbound or the a5 notebook version as well which is ringless just think about it right now everything's okay no matter where you find yourself no matter what kind of stuff is going on in your life. Underneath it all, everything's actually all right. You're okay. You have more power than you like to give yourself credit for. And if you have something that's going on in your life right now that's challenging, So I just finished some quality control and I noticed that a couple of the rings have this weird blemish mark there. Can you see that there? It's kind of like a weird stain and I contacted the supplier and they said that they'll send some cleaning oil or something to try to fix that but they're not sure if they can send it to me or not because it's a liquid and apparently you can't send liquids um, via DHL so I'm gonna have to try to figure out how to um, fix that if I can clean it up see it's even worse on the bottom here um, I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, clean that up somehow because otherwise I'm not really quite sure what to do and a lot of these planners actually have this weird stain on them and I'm definitely not happy about this because as a customer you're paying your hard-earned money for a product and you expect it to be no less than perfect. Um, this one's probably the worst out of the bunch that I've seen so far because it's got stains everywhere. So it's got it on the tab there, on top of the rivets, um, also at the bottom here. 
on top of the screw there. A lot of the other ones that I've seen have only got weird stains on, you know, a small part of the binder mechanism, but this one's got it on multiple spots. So yeah, I'm not really sure what to do about this. I might do some research and see if I can figure out something else because the supplier did mention that they weren't sure whether they could ship the oil over um, just because it is a liquid and it's not allowed so if they can't I'm going to have to try to figure something out because it's going to mean that I can't basically sell these planners without the ring mechanism which is a bit frustrating and very disappointing. This is probably a prime example of things not going according to plan when you have your own business, but these things do happen and I'm sure we'll figure out a way to fix everything. Okay, so I managed to sort out the good planners from the bad planners and I've lugged them all into my office space. I recently moved the Billy shelf that we had in one of our production rooms over here so I could house all the planners and have them all lined up behind me while I work on um, my design work and admin stuff. I hope you'll excuse the curtains though, they're not really my vibe, but they were left behind by the previous tenant. I knew that moving out would be a little bit more expensive than continuing to work from home. Like I knew that I would have the internet bill to pay for, electricity, insurance, and also rent. But the past couple of months, a couple of expenses have popped up that I didn't anticipate for so um, cash flow has been a little bit more difficult at the moment and also I've been trying to keep the money in where it's most important which is growing the business so I've invested in new equipment and while we're here, I'm not sure if you've noticed the marks along the shelf here. If you've ever built Billy shelves before, you know that you have to mark the back of the shelf there um, so that you can nail in the backboard to the middle shelf. This was actually the first time that my dad actually built a Billy shelf. In the past, I've built all the Billy shelves, so I knew which side was the right or wrong side. But this particular time, he was like, hey, May, you're really, really busy right now. You go do your work and I'll build the shelf by myself. And I guess he didn't realize that he had marked them the wrong way. So it's actually quite sweet because every time I see the marks, it reminds me of my dad and he's been a big help building and setting up the office. I'm just so grateful to have him in my life and to be so supportive of my dreams. So yeah, just a little sweet story for you guys. Um, we have to get going now and fill up this shelf with the planners. Um, I might even make a TikTok of me filling in the shelf just for something fun and because I've greatly neglected TikTok for a long time now. So yeah, let's get started, shall we? Okay, so I just finished filming the TikTok video. I'll edit it later, and if it turns out good, I'll insert it into this video. ASMR stacking out first ever agenda. Wow. But I've gone ahead and put the the planners on the shelf. So we have the A5 good planners there, we have the half letter disc bound uh, good planners there, and we have the not so great half letter disc bound planners there. So I don't have the A5 ringed bad planners on the shelf at the moment just because I've set them to the side at the moment just in anticipation of trying to fix the rings and I didn't feel like there was any point putting them on the shelf stacking them neatly and then having to take them all down again to fix and so this is how everything's turned out so far I'm really happy with how it's looking the planners look super shiny in this lighting which is really nice they kind of remind me of candy canes Hi VIP, so I just lined up the planners onto the shelf and they look amazing if I do say so myself. I was just thinking of a color name for them for this particular um, shade. So I was thinking of something along the lines of black licorice because it kind of reminds me of that. But let me know if you have any suggestions for the planner name um, in particular for the color. And yeah, I'd love to know what you guys come up with. 
So there's a couple of other things I want to get done today, like film more TikToks and also take some Instagram photos. I was planning on doing them today, but considering the weather at the moment, I don't think it's something that I'm going to get around to doing because it's super gloomy today in Adelaide. And it's kind of weird because last week we just had a heat wave. Um, so basically 35 plus degree days for a couple of days and I was dying from all the heat. It was a nightmare to walk outside because it felt like you were walking into an oven. And this week has been rainy and gloomy. So right now I'm not quite sure what's happening with the weather, but because of the gloominess, um, the lighting's going to be a bit poor. So I feel like I should work on some other things instead. And I guess the other thing that I wanted to get done today was to figure out how to pack the planners into the shipping boxes so that they're safe and they look good and you guys have a nice unboxing experience. Um, so I think I'm going to do that now. Alright, so excuse the lighting because we have really bad lighting in the hallway, but this arrived the other day and look how massive it is. I got this roll of bubble wrap from Officeworks and I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Yes, that's a good thing because it means I won't run out of bubble wrap. I did try to look up some alternatives to bubble wrap and I found one other one that seems to be the most popular one, which is the hex wrap. I'll insert a picture over here if I remember to do so. Because it's made from, I think, paper and the way that it's designed, I feel like it's going to leave an imprint on the planner, especially if the planner's in transit for a long period of time. Um, which is not what I want. So I guess in the meantime, I'm going to be using bubble wrap and hopefully by the time that I'm done with the roll, since it's such a large roll, I would have had found an alternative to bubble wrap. But if you guys have any suggestions of what to use instead of bubble wrap, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. I'd love to know and hopefully it'll help someone else out as well if you guys are in the e-commerce business and looking for a more eco-friendly alternative to bubble wrap. So we have the bubble wrap, I'm going to grab a shipping carton and we're going to get the dust bag and see how everything fits together. So we have the box assembled and I also have the dust bag. Fun fact, this dust bag has been in my possession for at least two years now when I first did a planner design, but the planner didn't turn out the way that I wanted to and unfortunately I had to put planner designing on the back burner. But now that we have um, the new planners, I'm excited to be able to use them with that. Okay, so I found my scissors and I'm going to cut a length of the bubble wrap, but I just hope that the roll doesn't, you know, roll off the table because it's so massive. So I guess it's kind of worked, it feels really snug in there. The only concern I have is if someone orders multiple things, um, I'm not quite sure 
how it's all going to fit. Since the box only really fits the planner, unless I remove the foam insert and put possibly the inserts within the planner just to save them some space. Um, but I guess this is what we're going to go with so far and when the time comes where someone's placed an order. So I guess when someone places an order with other items apart from the planner, I'm going to have to rethink my packaging process, but I guess we'll cross that bridge once we get to it. So this is my planner. I'm so excited to see what you guys think about it because this has literally been in the works for at least two years now and it's kind of insane having it in my hands packaged like this because it's basically how I envisioned everything, like the whole unboxing process like that. Um, it's kind of surreal looking at this right now. It's a little bit surreal to look at, but it makes me really happy um, because I can't believe that it's literally in front of me right now. Um, it's currently 3 p.m., so I guess it's time to sign off because I haven't even had lunch yet, so I think it's time to grab some food. And thank you so much for joining me today, going through all the quality control and trying to figure out how to package the planners. I hope you enjoyed seeing the behind the scenes of this um, planner process. And if you like the video and would like to see more from me, I hope you'll consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. So I think it's time to sign off now and go grab some food. So until next time, bye.